Hello everyone, it's me, NYSE Ansem from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. We're, th ha, we're a third of the way, we're two thirds into the way through July. The volume is incredibly light. The market seems strong, earnings are good. Google just blew away earnings, Alphabet. By four or five billion in revenues, this stock is up 5% or $68, $70. We're having a bit of a trade war going on, I guess, with Iran. So, you know, what's really clear that we really need to understand is that what do we trade here? Do we trade solid earnings or do we trade geopolitical risk? Do we trade headlines or do we trade smart money? Do we get emotional about our trading here or do we invest for the long term? I kind of think we invest in America and we stay in the long term. Trade wars haven't taken us down. Tariffs haven't taken us down. Letting Iran out of the deal that it let us down, North Korea didn't let us down. None of these things have any in long term with any kind of follow through let this market down. But lets the market hold itself and be strong, breaking out into all new levels, Russell at highs, Spiders at highs, Dow at more recent highs, oil back up towards a good or serious level. Solid corporate earnings, earnings season here, financials really outperforming a lot of the other sectors. Is the fact that interest rates are low, even though we have a gradual rise in them. But at the end of the day, things are fine. The fundamentals are strong and this market is strong, okay? So all these things, the problem, the problem is that we have a wild card in Washington. He breaks off the deal with Iran and then he, and then, and makes friends with them and then we go into a Twitter war with them. We've got, Tariffs that are going to be huge, and we back those off, and we tell people they can renegotiate their own, and then we get backed into them. So if you look at the last 18 months, and if you've traded the Trump election, and the Brexit, and the North Korea, and the tariffs from the sell side, and the fear and anxiety side, at the end of the day, you've made a mistake and left money on the table. At the end of the day, what makes an economy strong, or what makes a market worth investing in, is solid fundamentals. Good corporate earnings, reasonable interest rates, banks, solid earnings, solid earnings, solid earnings. Loan growth, good credit, unemployment at good record lows. That's what keeps a country solid. That's what keeps an economy in good shape. And that's what keeps a market strong. I don't need to say much more than that. We're 25 1 in the Dow, off 13 points, insignificant, solid close. The Russell up a point or two, insignificant. The S&P up a point, five handles, insignificant. The transport's up 80. Oil did a bit of a reversal all day because of the Twitter war with the Iranians. Google beat earnings. Facebook and the other companies are still have yet to deliver. Halliburton was okay. Energy sector's in check. Banks had blowout earnings across the board. Stick with it. Stay with Einstein. Stay with Inside Verstappen. Don't get emotional about money. Don't trade headlines. Emotional selling, smart money buying. Stick with me, stick with the market. Dow Jones, NYSE, Inside Burst Off, I love you.